Hi, it's Monday, July 6th, and things are just starting to open up here in California. They opened, and then they closed again for the riots, and then they slowly started opening, and then they closed again because there's a spike in COVID, and... You know, we have a maniacal governor who's up on a bit of a power trip, even in the face of mounting evidence that masks aren't doing any good and are in fact doing more harm than good and that this illness isn't as bad or as contagious as we thought. Even in the face of that evidence, we're having heightened restrictions, which is crazy. So anyhow, I am once again spending more time at home. It means more time reading. But since I was able to go to church, I was able to buy a book from our bookstore, and I just want to highlight that. It's called Mama Bear Apologetics, Empowering Your Kids to Challenge Cultural Lies. And it's a really good book because in our culture, there are so many lies and children are the most vulnerable population to buy into these lies and as their moms and dads, we need to be ready to give them a biblical answer of you know, why we believe what we believe and show the evidence and just make the truth plain to them. Um, the first chapter of the book was so interesting with so many statistics about the youth exodus, kids just leaving church and at younger ages, younger and younger and younger, and because things, culture has changed so, so drastically that not only can we not count on culture to at all support or reinforce Judeo-Christian values, but culture will actually do everything it can to undermine the Judeo-Christian values. And so really, we, we have to fight that. We have to be you know, ready to go to war with, with our minds and just with our words and use our thinking and, you know, have the apologetics. And this book is a great, great introduction to apologetics. Um, Mama Bear Apologetics is a whole organization with podcasts and all kinds of resources specifically for moms who don't have time to sit down with a huge book of biblical doctrines and scientific research. So they have podcasts that you can easily listen to while you're vacuuming or cleaning the dishes or doing anything else you need to do. And um, it just has brought out uh, a few thoughts in me 
first of all, um, it reminds me that so often Christians are accused of not believing in science, being anti-science. And that's so ridiculous because every scientist has pretty much unanimously agreed that life begins at conception. And Christians believe that. And so Christians say, therefore, you cannot kill that life that is in you, that is conceived. Even if you can't see that life, it's there and it's growing in you and you can't kill it. And yet there are a huge population of people who keep insisting and insisting and and just trying and trying to convince themselves that somehow that no this isn't murder this isn't murder this is a choice I'm mm, that's I don't know I would say that side is unscientific because it's it's a choice to murder and um, also scientifically and by biologically and medically everyone in the professional fields will tell you that if you have a baby and that baby has a penis it's a boy and if your baby has a vagina it's a girl and they are going to be different they are going to think differently they are going to grow differently they are going to act differently and that carries on into adulthood. Men and women think differently, act differently, and grow differently. And that is science. And that is something that Christians affirm. And some other people will disagree with that. But no Christian is going to disagree with that. And another ridiculous thing I was thinking of is the coexist bumper stickers. Because the word coexist means to live with someone else. So if you're not just killing everyone who doesn't believe the way you believe, then you already are coexisting. So that's pretty much the entire population is already coexisting. It's like having a bumper sticker that says, drink water. Yeah. We already do. Everyone drinks water. Maybe the few people that don't suffer the consequences of dehydration and headaches, but for the most part, we all drink water. We know that. So, anyway, all that to say, I highly recommend Mama Bear Apologetics. Um, look up their website, mamabearapologetics.com. Look at the resources. Look into apologetics um, and study your Bibles. 
that's about it. Bye.